Who's that? Good morning from the playmat. I'm Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another healthy what I eat in a day video for you. And if you enjoy these videos, I have about 50 of them in a playlist on my YouTube channel called Weight Loss. And I have also just created a low calorie density weight loss handbook, which has a 15 day sample meal plan, a ton of recipes and all of my best tips and tricks for following a plant-based low calorie density diet to reach your health and weight loss goals and also to be able to keep it off sustainably without being hungry or having to count calories. Should we go for our walk soon? It's a little bit cold outside. We've got to bundle up. <sighs> no, the camera's not a toy. <laughs> All right, it's breakfast time. And yes, I am having oatmeal with frozen blueberries and cinnamon once again. I know I showed this in my last video, but this is really what I eat. And so that's what I'm showing. Every once in a while I have someone say that they want more variety for breakfast or they want a bunch of different options of what to eat. But I find simplicity and having one or two or maybe three breakfast options max makes sticking with a healthy eating plan a lot easier. And most people that I know, regardless of what type of diet they're on, eat the same things over and over again anyway. Maybe it's toast with peanut butter and jam and cereal. I don't know too many people who have 10 or 20 different breakfast options or that wake up and try different complex recipes for breakfast. Most people like to keep it pretty simple and I definitely do. So that was one cup of old fashioned oats and 10 ounces of water and this is my little rice cooker that I got for $18 on Amazon and last I checked it was 15 something so it was on sale and this is just a great purchase that I made because it makes cleanup a lot easier than when I was making rice in my instant pot and then when I was making oats on the stovetop. Rinsing this out because it's non-stick is so simple. As a quick snack, I am just going to cut up an apple. I love snacking on fruit throughout the day. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is about how much fruit can you eat and still lose weight? And you know, shouldn't I only have one serving of fruit per day? Or just overall fear about having fruit in order to lose weight. And I can kind of understand that because fruit has natural sugars in it and I think that's maybe where some of the fear comes from. But fruit also has two things that will help you lose weight and that is water and fiber. Fruit is full of both and most fruit is under 400 calories per pound. Bananas are at that 400 mark and apples, berries, oranges, most fruit is well under that. So they are definitely something that you can eat to satiation without worrying about. With the exception of fruit juice and dried fruit because both of those are much more calorie dense. Alright for lunch I was going to make my sweet potato black bean chili and then I realized that I don't have any sweet potatoes left. So instead I'm going to make it exactly the same but with Yukon Gold potatoes instead and all of the other ingredients are the same. So I do have this recipe up on my website. I will link it in the description box as well. With most of my recipes I usually tweak things accordingly based on what I currently have in my fridge and freezer and sometimes I'll mix up the spices as well depending on what I feel like. I'm going to be making this in my instant pot with four cups of water on high pressure for 25 minutes and then I just let the steam release naturally. I'm going to be making this for myself and Alex, so for two people and also if you ever want a recommendation of something to cook for non-vegans that they'll still really enjoy, I highly recommend these chili dishes. I find that they're really filling and flavorful and 
non-vegans don't even really realize they're eating vegan food when they have a hearty meal like this. All right, we've got our potatoes, carrots, and onions diced up. And we're gonna add in a rinsed can of black beans, one can of petite diced tomatoes, a cup of frozen corn, some ground cumin, chili powder, you can leave this out if you don't like spice, garlic powder, and my favorite of all, lots of liquid smoke to give this chili a hickory type flavor. And we're adding in our water before putting the lid on and letting this cook. All right, for dinner, I'm going to be making some potato crackers with a cheesy spinach chickpea dip. So what I'm gonna be doing is blending together this entire can of chickpeas, once I've rinsed it, with a big handful of spinach. And then I'm gonna be adding in this nutritional yeast, which I don't think I've ever done before in a dip, but it's gonna give it like a cheesy flavor. And then I'm also gonna be adding in a splash of lemon juice, and for our spices, we've got garlic powder, paprika, and crushed red chili flakes. And then I'm also gonna be adding in a little bit of salt. Oh, and I'm also gonna add a splash of water just to make the consistency a bit thinner and easier to blend up. But you can decide how thick or, I guess, watery you want your dip to be and just adjust the amount of water accordingly. All right, here are our potato crackers. I sliced a few of them a little bit too thinly and they got a little crispy, but the rest of them look good. I baked these on this ceramic baking tray, which is non-stick and actually really helps them to come out nice and crispy. Uh, also, you can use an air fryer if you own one, but I do not. And I bake them for 25 minutes on the lower shelf of the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This has gotta be one of my favorite ways to get my greens in. This has got a ton of raw spinach in this spread here. And it's so easy to make. It's such a filling meal. You've got your protein because there's an entire can of chickpeas in it. And yeah, it just tastes delicious. And I forgot to add salt in the blender, so I'm just gonna put a pinch of salt on top. All right, that's a big pinch. All right, time to eat. Okay, for dessert, I'm going to be making a cherry nice cream, which is just like a vegan ice cream using fruit. And I'm gonna be using some frozen cherries and some frozen pieces of banana that I peeled and put in the freezer when they were really ripe. Obviously, the riper they are, the sweeter they are, and it makes for really good ice cream. And I'm also going to pour in a splash of this soy milk. And so I'm putting about two full bananas in there. Free pouring some cherries, that's about half a cup, I'd guess. 
splash of any plant milk will do. You can use a blender or a food processor. And you don't want to use too much milk because then it will come out like a milkshake consistency. But you want it to be more like an ice cream. Mmm, looks delicious. And as you can see, I'm not one for tiny portions. And now I'm going to have a cup of this sugar cookie sleigh ride tea. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel to be notified of my next upload. Take care and see you next time.